The Denver Police Department says it is launching a new specialized fentanyl investigative unit for the city. The department says it's in response to rising distribution and abuse of that drug. The Denver Medical Examiner's Office reported more than 200 overdose deaths in 2022. We recognize that the opioid crisis um, had reached a epidemic proportion here in the city and county of Denver in the metro area. So to address that, we were re repurposing one of our teams that uh, previously existed to enforce marijuana. We've kind of been calling it the silent tragedy. A lot of these people, they die alone by themselves, unbeknownst to family members in their rooms by themselves, um, but it still is a tragedy. DPD says the goal of the fentanyl team will be to, quote, focus on disrupting distribution networks, reducing the supply of fentanyl in our community, and assisting with suspected fentanyl overdose death investigations. Let's dig deeper into the data to give you some context as to how prevalent fentanyl is in Colorado. The Rocky Mountain Division of the DEA covers Colorado, Montana, Utah, and Wyoming. Last year, it seized more than 5.8 million doses of fentanyl. That includes nearly 2 million pills and more than 150 pounds of powdered fentanyl. The DEA as a whole sees more than 379 million doses of fentanyl across the country in 2022. According to them, that's enough of the drug to kill every American. Now let's take a closer look at a common source of fentanyl for teens, Snapchat. Families of more than 50 fentanyl overdose victims filed suit against the company this week. They accuse the app of making it easier for drug deals to take place. They say the company allowed dealers to sell fake prescriptions, mostly to minors and young adults. They all lost a child to fentanyl poisoning through counterfeit drugs obtained through SNAP. Not through Instagram, not through TikTok, but through SNAP. This isn't an internet problem, this isn't a social media problem, this is a Snapchat problem. The suit also claims the main feature of Snapchat, disappearing messages, is very appealing to drug dealers because it makes their activity harder to track. The company had no comment on the lawsuit, but in a statement says it uses cutting edge technology to proactively find and shut down drug dealers' accounts.